Tina Shore local election headquarters in the town of Atlantic Beach has formally now sent a letter addressed to Governor McMaster. The town is asking for help with the certification of its election from November 7th. That's just over two months ago. It has taken longer to get a ruling on this relatively small election than it took to decide Bush against Gore in 2000. News 13's Jackie Labrizzi has been following the drama and was back again today in Atlantic Beach. Mayoral candidate John David says he heard about the town's letter to Governor Henry McMaster from his attorney. He says he's very pleased by the news and hopes this will certify election results once and for all. According to the communications director for the state's governor's office, the town's letter was addressed to Governor McMaster, but also CC'd the state's election commission. This is a copy of that letter. It reads consent and approval was made by both mayoral candidates, Josephine Isom and John David and their attorneys. The letter also states irregularities they've seen leading up to the election in November. This includes voter fraud, alleged illegal and improper conduct of a town election official and various legal actions that are now pending before the state Supreme Court. The democratic process for voters in Atlantic Beach was halted. Their votes weren't counted. Everybody else in America's votes were counted. So yes, it's affecting us. David says the election process for Atlantic Beach should have never been halted and is glad it's in someone else's hands. Coming up on News 13 at 6, hear what this means for the town council seats that are still vacant. Reporting in Atlantic Beach, Jackie Labrizzi, News 13.